So now we're in chapter number 10, Electricity and the Chemist, and we're going to start with experiment 71, Salts are Decomposed. So you're going to need your carbon rod, you're going to need these two wires, you're going to need your battery clip, you're going to need a battery, you're going to need a piece of aluminum foil, you're going to need one of these cups and some water to put into it, and you're going to need some sodium carbonate to make a salt solution. So first, let's pour some water into the cup. And then let's dissolve a few spoonfuls of sodium carbonate into it. And we can mix it in. Then we're going to take our battery clip and attach it to the battery. And then we're going to attach these two wires to these two wires. So we can just wrap the coil around. And on the other side, and then we're going to attach one of them to the carbon rod. And then we're going to put the carbon rod into the solution. And the other end, we're going to connect with a piece of aluminum foil. We're going to stick the aluminum foil into the solution as well. You can press it against the wall. And then connect the wire just by folding it over like this. So it'll stay in place. Okay, and as soon as the electrical circuit is closed, you should see gas bubbles arising from both places, from the graphite rod and also from the aluminum foil. That familiar smell from swimming pools. Okay, and now we're going to do experiment 75, so electricity from a test tube. So we're going to start by adding seven centimeters of water into the test tube. And then we're going to put four spoonfuls of salt in it. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to mix it up. Then we're going to add one spoonful of sodium hydrogen sulfate. and mix it up. And you can tell your audience that it's just water, because it looks like water. So take a magnesium strip out of here. You have two of them, but you only need one. And you're going to wrap one of the wires, the ends of the wires, around one end of it. So now you have these two pieces. You have a magnesium strip connected to one wire, and you have a copper wire connected to another wire. So now we have to stick these two blue wires into the test tube holder to make a socket for the light bulb. This is part of experiment 66 in chapter 10. So what you're going to do is turn the test tube holder upside down, take one of the wires, and if you don't have enough room left, or it breaks, you can always make more with a wire stripper. And so you take this, this is going to be kind of small, so I suggest you look at the images on page 33. So you're going to take the wire, put it into one of the holes here on this round piece, and then through the other hole, and then fold it back on itself. You can see the wire in here, and this is where the light bulb is going to go. And then the other wire, you're going to take it and put it through this other little hole down here at the bottom. Stick it through one side and then put it back in on the other side. So it might take a little bit of fidgeting, but what you should have at the end is a socket that you can stick the light bulb into so that both wires will touch the light bulb but they will not touch each other. 
Okay, and once you have that, you can put the test tube with the solution back in. You're going to put both the magnesium strip and the copper wire inside the test tube, but you don't want them to touch each other. So we're going to do this very carefully. First we're going to put the magnesium strip, and then we're going to put the, let's fold it to make it easier. And then we're going to put the copper. And you should see a very faint light coming from the light bulb. You'll also notice gas being produced inside the test tube. These white cloudy bubbles. And when you take the magnesium strip out, you'll notice that it's been eaten away. It's dissolving the magnesium. If you left the magnesium strip in there for long enough, you'd have no magnesium strip left. If it looks like the light bulb is not lighting, you might have to look extra close at the filament in there, but you'll see a very faint glow.